Now, I, 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 I had to use all the platforms at my disposal to, to continue teaching and communicating with my, with my, uh, my students. I used WhatsApp, I used WhatsApp. Uh, I was added onto the WhatsApp platform uh, some months later. Uh, I used Zoom. I learned how to use Zoom during the lockdown for the first time and used it with my learners, my students. I also used uh, my, my Gmail for communicating with students as I'm going to um, elaborate. So those are the, that is the, 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 the bag of tricks that uh, made me survive the lockdown up to this, up to this point. But how did I use this? Simple. Now for WhatsApp, the first thing is the students said, say, we need you on our WhatsApp group. I said, um, okay, add me when you don't need me anymore, you're, you're, you're checking out. I don't want to be on a WhatsApp group permanently, but uh, surprisingly, I'm still there. And I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Right, now, on the WhatsApp group, we would send assignments, we would send study materials, PDF documents, we would send links to, to Zoom sessions, send to the students via uh, WhatsApp, reminders, guys, there's a deadline, guys, there's a meeting at, at 11 on Zoom. This was done in addition to notices on, on WhatsApp, the official channel. But sometimes some learners will tell you, say, I can't log on to WhatsApp, uh, my login details have changed, IT cannot change my password, things like that. So WhatsApp would come in handy. Now also, we used to uh, engage with students. Let's say I give them an assignment, we have a group discussion, say 3.4, what exactly do you want? 3.6, what is the length of the assignment? We would discuss, students giving their understanding, I unpack the assignment, and so on, including voice notes, where I can record myself explaining, maybe for two, three minutes, and post to the students so that they can play it over and over again and try to understand what I am saying. Now, like I said, sometimes students do not have access to WhatsApp. Some readings, study material had to be posted on, on WhatsApp as well. Uh, and the discussions would go, would go on on those readings, give them time to read three, four days. Guys, let's unpack those readings. Before we have assignments, we could use that WhatsApp as well. Also, I use, used and am still using WhatsApp for one-on-one -on -one communication with students. I, I've cited some example here. One student said to me, there was an assignment due in a few days. He said to my input, say, I'm, 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 I've tested positive for COVID-19. Now I'm stressed, I've got assignments that are, are due. What do I do? You know, such kind of communication where you say, no, the student, no, don't worry. Focus on your health. When you are fine, contact me again. We talk about the assignments. Uh, students failing to access WhatsApp or join Zoom meeting, they'll come to my inbox on WhatsApp and they have those one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions. Now, my students are on SDE right now, and they, they need support. I, I put that in hold because that is ongoing, and I found that to be very useful. I, I'm going to share with you some of the screenshots uh, of discussions between me and the, and the students. And you see that they this is quite useful, the, the support that they're getting through um, through WhatsApp chat. Right, here are some screenshots on the communication with students. The first one, as you can see, I sent a, a link for the Zoom meeting, the time and everything. The students can just click, one click, and straight to go to the, to the meeting. Under the link, I put the reminder, please, join the meeting, climb the mountain if you have to. Because of uh, connectivity problems, just trying to, to encourage the students, right? Now, the second uh, screenshot is about when the student it, it just started their SVE, they were frustrated. Look at that one. I went there on Monday, was given material to prepare for grade nine. So I was in class on Tuesday, that's one student. The other one is, is having a difficult time. You can see from what, uh, the student saying the student was literally thrown into the deep end. He, he or she was uh, required to finish up 
work not covered by the teacher in the first term. And she's a student. She's not being mentored, so they come back to me for, for, for support. And, and WhatsApp was very useful for that. And the third one, as you can see, that student is very is feeling proud. Uh, she was doing an experiment with the students, and she shared with the group uh, on, the WhatsApp, uh, on the WhatsApp platform. And uh, we all got encouraged, and the other students as well. That was uh, WhatsApp. Now the second platform that I'm using is, is the, the Wise Up platform, right, the official platform for the university. What am I using Wise Up for? Right? Sending notices to students. Guys, we're going to have a WhatsApp meeting, we're going to have a Zoom meeting. Guys, here are some readings, reading materials sent via um, Wise Up. Creation of assignments, is that section where you create an assignment and students can also submit the assignments when the students are, are done. And WhatsApp can also, I'm also using it to mark those assignments online. They don't have to crowd my, 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 my email. I can mark them online. Immediately, the moment I finish, I can just make the marks accessible to the students. The student can see the feedback, the student can see the, uh, the, the, the marks as well on, on WhatsApp. Now again, wise up, you can just enter the student marks. Once you enter, you just open the marks. All the students can see their marks. Whether they're in material, they are in, wherever they are, they will still access information and marks as if they are at, at campus. Um, now, yesterday, I, I wanted to, to share with colleagues some of these things that I've, made, I've listed there. I, will, I opened my wise up and whether it's a technical glitch or anything is blank. This is what I'm getting at the moment on my, on my wise up. I was going to share with you uh, some of the three names, the, the, the mark list that you can see, the notices I've put, the stuff that I've, I've said to the students, but uh, I've since escalated the problem with the relevant uh, IT people. For I wanted to just to share evidence that this is what I'm doing on, uh, on wise up. Now, the third platform that uh, I was using and continue using is Zoom. Like I said, like what Mr. Mondela said, um, during the, the, the lockdown, we had to ex accelerate our learning of, of, of technology. All this was done during the lockdown. Now, one beautiful thing about the Zoom is the lecture, the online lecture. The students log on, you have your lecture wherever they are. You are talking to them, they can see you, uh, they can ask you questions. We, we taught new material, although they were at the home. Assignments were unpacked before they were, they were written. Uh, feedback was given after assignments were marking, remarked. Now, Zoom has got this ability to share the screen. I can have my PowerPoint presentation as if I'm in a lecture room on my computer. Present it the same way I'll present it in a lecture room and share the screen. The student is in a taxi somewhere, he's attending the lecture. The student is climbing up a mountain because at home there's no network, they are seeing the lecture. One student is, is, is cooking and seeing the lecture, you know? We, we are bringing that, that planning closer to, to, to the students. So this ability to share the screen with the voice, with word, makes it a virtual classroom, wherever they are, it's like they're in class. Now students, again, on, on Zoom, they can ask questions, either by voice or they can text. If they text a question, it's their choice. They can text it and make it available only to me. I can see what I'm presenting, so I'm interested with a question. Or they can make the question available to, to everyone, right? And or they can raise their hand, there's an icon where they raise their hand, you can give them a chance for them to speak and everyone can hear them. So, in a way, it's like they are in class. You are interacting, there's interaction between the students, there's interaction between the students and the lecturer. And you can even, whilst you are on, on that platform, interact with one student aside, right on the Zoom platform, where they send you a, a text and make it available to you only, and you can only, uh, you can also reply privately. You are in the same group, but you can either choose to 
communicate with one student or with the whole group. So another important thing with, with this Zoom is that some we were recorded the sessions because some students could not log on because of one data issues, uh, connectivity issues. So we can record the sessions which we can share with other students. Even those that were in the lecture, they can have something that they can use for revision because they can play it over and over again. And there's a, it is a choice of using voice only or voice and, and video in the recordings. Right, um, one student sent me a screenshot of one of the Zoom sessions. Uh, that, that is my, 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 my screen that I was sharing. At the bottom right hand corner, that's me there. Um, you can see that the student had muted themselves. They had, uh, also removed the video, right? Then uh, on the next slide, I'm going to try and play a few seconds of that, of that particular lecture on Zoom. Right, you see, technology. Okay. Did I? Okay. Right. There's the, the lesson. There's one student that's appearing there. She, she had entered with video. That's why you could see her. That's me at the bottom. The other students were not entering with video. That's why you don't see their pictures. That is part of my screen that, was, uh, that I was sharing with the students. Now, finally, I used email, my Gmail. Right? Now, Gmail was the primary means of submitting assignments by students. It was a time when WhatsApp was down. They could not upload anything. So they had to use my Gmail. At that time, like I said, I'm, 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 I'm a free user. I was not yet on the official uh, WUSU email. So I had to use my private Gmail to, to, to uh, accept assignments and, and all that. Right, again, sometimes I had to contact a student aside, maybe a student submits an assignment, you can find that they are lost, 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 lost. What they're doing is completely wrong. You need to email them quickly, say, no, 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 this is not, this is not what you are doing. Can you resubmit your assignment and give them some guidelines? I use email for that. Also, readings were distributed. Some students will say, say, I can't, I can't go into what to WhatsApp, uh, my WhatsApp is playing up, but I can go to an email, internet cafe. You send the readings, other stuff through there, the email where they can go to Internet Cafe, download and print. Again, like I said, some one-on-one -on -one students, uh, communication with students, where they are failing to access WhatsApp to upload assignments, students which need links uh, for the recordings on Zoom, maybe after failing to, uh, to attend the Zoom sessions, the students will come uh, to me. So basically, those are the things that I, or the platforms that I used and I'm still using. To, to, to make students uh, learn and access education, even if we are in a, in a lockdown. Right, uh, if I have one more minute, I'll just want to quickly share some, some of the, 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 the challenges. Right, the challenges. Now, this is what we managed to succeed. Lectures were conducted, students accessed materials, assignments were, were, were done, right? Uh, students managed to engage with, with each other, and submission of assignment, the rate was very high, almost 100%, although they are not in campus. And the, the use of multiple technology in research to be equivalent to triangulation, where you want to look at the same phenomena from different angles to try and make sure that um, all the students are, are catered for. Now, the challenges. WhatsApp was malfunctioning for some time, and we, we, we had to think outside the box. Uh, students having difficulty with connectivity, especially on Zoom sessions. That's a, a, a problem. Data costs, students say, we're going to save data from the university, I don't have money, and so on and so on. Sometimes students just are not good with the, with the technical know-how on using this Zoom. They can't access the lesson, not because there's a problem with network, but they are not able to press the, the correct buttons. Now, again, I was using a free version of Zoom, which only allows a maximum of 40 minutes per session. That's a, that's a challenge. As a result, we had to set maybe two, three sessions in quick succession to continue with the lecture. That, that was one of the big challenges. We started the first, the first session with 40 stu students, 
The second session, they are now 35 or 32. The others are failing to, 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 to log on. That was another, another challenge. Again, the attendance of this Zoom session was never 100%. It was always 70% or less than 70%. These are the, the, the challenges that we, we are facing. Thank you very much.